Jeffrey Dean Morgan has cemented his status as a pop culture icon thanks to his role as Negan in The Walking Dead. Negan was a perfect villain and one of the most nuanced anti-heroes to come out of the series. From a murdering leader of the saviors to a man looking for redemption, his character remains one of the best on television. However, Morgan has plenty of other reasons for fans to love him. He has appeared in several other popular films and television shows, from Watchmen to Supernatural, and he leads a life that shows he is as down-to-earth. Since he is quite elusive when it comes to being in the spotlight, there is so much more to know about him. Here are 10 things you might not know about Jeffrey Dean Morgan. He was hated because of his on-screen character. Although it is really hard not to love Jeffrey Dean Morgan, especially after roles such as Denny Duquet in Grey's Anatomy, fans were quick to turn on him once he took on the role of the Walking Dead villain Negan. Although his character has seemingly softened over time, Negan has been a detestable villain ever since his first appearance on the show. Morgan admitted he has had several negative interactions with fans who blame him for his character's actions, but one stood out in particular. He told Entertainment Weekly that during the hiatus between the season 6 finale and the season 7 premiere, a woman flipped him off while he was out with co-star Norman Reedus, who plays Daryl. He said, we had been riding motorcycles all day and we were in the middle of nowhere and stopped to get a coffee. And this lady is at our car, and she's probably 80 years old, and she comes up and just flips me off and says fuck you. And Norman falls off his chair, laughing, and I'm like whoa, whoa. He continued, it was crazy. And she did have her daughters with her, by the way. But then her next question is, where do you live? I'm like, yeah, I'm going to tell you where I live. He accidentally stumbled upon acting. As it turns out, Jeffrey Dean Morgan had no intentions of becoming an actor, and it kind of happened accidentally. When in his early 20s, Morgan helped a friend move to Los Angeles, and he hung around for a while. One day he met a casting agent who convinced him to go to an audition, even though he had no prior acting experience. He actually ended up landing the role of Sharky in 1991's Uncaged, Angel in Red. He said, I had no intention of being an actor ever. I was an artist, I fancied myself an artist, I sold paintings at bars to pay my rent. And then four years later, I moved to Los Angeles and met a casting director named Eliza and went from there. Then I spent 20 years struggling, trying to figure out how the fuck I was going to make a living and feed my dog. And now we're doing okay. Getting into character. Morgan is an extremely dedicated actor who goes to whatever lengths necessary to give his best performance. When it came to his role in 2007's P.S. I Love You, Morgan learned to actually play guitar and mastered it in about one week of lessons from Hart's Nancy Wilson. In 2015 he was required to play a man with tuberculosis for the film Texas Rising, so in order to lose the 40 pounds necessarily, he resorted to only eating one can of tuna per day. Morgan also revealed that he has done things such as hanging out in a morgue for six hours and going to homicide school in order to prepare for roles and learn from the people actually doing these jobs. He almost quit acting after appearing on Star Trek Enterprise. Back in 2003, during a consistent stint of guest starring on popular series, the actor appeared in a season 3 episode of Star Trek Enterprise. The episode, titled Carpenter Street, saw Morgan in the role of Sheen de during an appearance on Hot Ones, Morgan confessed that the guest role of Shindy Reptilian almost made him walk away from acting altogether. He said, it turns out I'm claustrophobic. I had a really hard time doing the makeup process and I had straws in my nose. I've never been on a set where I went home at night and just thought, what am I doing? I've made the worst fucking decision of my life. I don't ever want to be an actor again. Like, I was sure that this was just wrong and it almost made me quit. It was horrible. He credits Grey's Anatomy for reviving his career. After getting an unlikely start in Hollywood and having no trouble landing a couple of movie roles, Morgan thought that it wouldn't be difficult to rise up the ladder in the industry, but he was wrong. For almost a decade he struggled to secure major roles, landing only small parts in one or two episodes of different TV shows, and was living off of unemployment checks in between the parts. Then in 2005, he got cast on Supernatural and in 2006, landed an even bigger role on Grey's Anatomy, and he now credits Grey's Anatomy creator Shonda Rhimes with saving his career. Grey's Anatomy gave me the opportunity to be where I am now. I wake up every morning and thank Shonda Rhimes. That role gave me a career. After playing Denny Duquette, he was never asked to audition for anything else, ever. He wasn't asked about Negan either. 
The show sought him out, and when his agent called, Morgan knew exactly what role it was they were going to offer because his friends had already told him he'd be perfect for it. Interestingly enough, his former manager, who was also a close friend of his, dropped him as a client only one day before he landed his supernatural role, telling him she could not resurrect his career. He had never watched The Good Wife before he joined the cast. When Jeffrey got the offer to be part of the show The Good Wife, he liked the description of his character, but he didn't really know what the show was about. He said, I got a call one day from my agent who just said, you've been offered something on The Good Wife, and the creators would like to speak to you. I had never watched The Good Wife before, believe it or not. I had heard it was a great show, and I've known Juliana for a while, but I'd never seen it. So I got on the phone with them and they told me what they were thinking of as far as the character. After the call, he watched some of the episodes and fell in love with the show, so after a couple of days, he called the creators back and accepted the offer. He owns a candy store. Aside from being an actor, it seems Morgan is also a businessman. After a close friend who owns Samuel's Sweet Shop in Rhinebeck, New York, suddenly passed, Morgan along with friend and fellow actor Paul Rudd and another mutual friend, stepped in and bought the business to keep it running. Now, the three men's wives do most of the work with the candy store and keep it going from day to day. He met his wife on a blind date. In early 2009, he began dating actress Hilary Burton after they were set up on a blind date by Morgan's Supernatural co-star Jensen Ackles, whose wife Daniel had starred on One Tree Hill with Burton. After hitting it off on their double date with Ackles, the couple made their red carpet debut in April of 2010. That same year, Burton gave birth to their son, Augustus, before quietly tying the knot in a secret ceremony a few years later. The couple welcomed their second child, a daughter George, in February 2018. He wanted to be a pro basketball star. Morgan was active in all kinds of sports, even football where he is a huge fan of the Seattle Seahawks. But his passion was basketball and his plan was to try and make a career out of it. He was the captain of his Washington high school team and was given a basketball scholarship. The only reason he didn't pursue things further was a knee injury that cut everything short. After the option of basketball was over, he became a painter and writer and eventually an actor. Being a celebrity. As a rather elusive celebrity, it isn't surprising that Morgan has never really been a fan of the attention that comes along with being a star. He told Flaunt magazine, I love acting. The star part is not my bag. It's weird and you don't get used to it. I'm not comfortable with it, nor do I want it. I want to be with people I care about and hang out with my dogs. Never in my days did I want to be a celebrity. In fact, he and his wife purchased a farm outside of Rhinebeck, New York, far away from the hustle and bustle of Los Angeles, and have many animals, including cattle, chickens, and alpacas, 